do we do cam or not? Do you want it? Do you want it? My gear. <laughs> so yes or no? You tell me. Oh, we can do it. Just tell me if you I want to. Want. Okay. There you we can go. put me on stream if you want to. You can what? You can put me on stream if you want to. I can okay. like, enable my cam. Awesome. Let me just. There you go. Look. Whoa! Oh, shit. I need to flip Giga Chad. It. I need to flip it. Uh, okay, oh, is it see. correct? I think it's. I don't know. Why? What do you mean? I mean, it's fine. I mean, it the looks deck, fine. The text was flipped for me, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Look, I'll just do a little react thingy, okay? Ah. There we go. Who the, went? The oh, react. Wait. Yeah. There you go. I'll put a little window. I'm live. Whoa, he's live. He's so <laughs> famous, man. Jesus. Like, he gets yeah, it, like I am Delta connected. Yeah, oh, the guy no. from RDPS, right, guys? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was on vacation. He was in vacation. So, like, photos all late. over. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Absolute <laughs> fucking cringe. Okay, wait. Let me just join this fucking thing. Dude, what is my password? Wait, which one's my email anyways? Is this one, yeah? I hacked your account. Dude, fuck yeah, dude. Now I, I can be like, oh, wow, guys. I can't play hardcore anymore. I ha they, My account got hacked. Giga Chad. Was this my account? Bro, I don't remember. <gasps> oh, there was one. Okay, perfect. All right. I, I have to say, I, I, I saw the clip of really dying. Um, <laughs> and... It, it was quite humorous. First, I was like, wait, what the fuck? What happened? And I was like, oh, wait, the tidal wave didn't work there. Like, that's what happened. Because the NPC even said, like, one second ago. And then, oh, it was so good, man. I was so happy when he died. Because you know what? It, the thing is... seconds before, he even said, like, oh, yeah, like, watch me die. Like, I'm not going to die at level 79 or something. And then he died. Yeah, he was. it was so good. And you know what the worst part is? is the, I felt vindicated. Because the fucker saw me, like, darn, I don't want to do the metadrain. I don't want to do the metadrain with you. So I don't like it. And then he, if you would have... He would have known about that mechanic, he wouldn't have died. So, you know what? Fuck him. He deserves it. Yeah, get fucked, really. Alright. Uh, wait. What even, what, what even, what would he even, like, do, um, like, a meta event? Like, if you're shortly before 80, like, at level 79, why would he even dare do that? Like, yeah, that's a good, I think someone said it in chat, like, oh, yeah, let's do it, fuck it, uh, and then, you know, everything went wrong, right? Oh, let me just put Gilbert's UST or some shit. Wait, no, how do I even... Yeah, dude, dude, it'll do the powerful YouTube will make it work. Okay, perfect. All right, let's talk about the thing, though. The big thing, the unannounced project that everyone... Well, I think, I mean, I don't think, I don't think many people kind of care about it too much anymore, though. I mean, I think maybe when it started, but I think people kind of like, overall, did I mean, it, they're, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, but like, it, but people people don't care um, in a sense that you don't hear them talking about it, but actually they do. Like whenever um, look at my videos, for example, like I made the Guild Wars three video, or whatever, like the yeah. the graphical yeah. overhaul video. Yeah, and people are like, oh no, there's no fucking way. Um, also, like, apologies, like, am I allowed to swear on your stream? Yes, um, I mean, do you know my okay. stream, bro? Like, come on. Um, no, I I, I I hardly catch you because you're in a bit of a different time zone there. Yeah, but I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, like um, they they come and like oh yeah like, that's never gonna happen because it moved all the devs from Guild Wars two onto like, the other project. There's like three yeah. devs working on on Guild Wars two and two of them is, uh, are janitors. Like <laughs> it, it's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, they do. They, they do put a lot of the. That's the thing, right? It's it's almost like they don't talk about it because they already made up their mind, right? They're like, yeah, the game is just not gonna be played. Uh, like they're, it's not gonna be the main focus, and um, the Unknown's project. They're gonna, they're just gonna, um, what's the word? I replace the in, the actual game with the unknowns project, whatever it is, right? It's kind of what their uh, their conclusion yeah. is. I think most people are. Music is too loud. Okay, I'll fix it. Boom. For, for example, what, what Doom Earth says, um, it, that the they're making another MMO RPG for years. That's not true though. Um, so like, that's the rest is like first. Um, yeah, let's, let's get the information were out. Working they were working on a Dune game. I I don't know if it was an MO or a story game. I'm I'm not or sure. Survival not sure or whatever. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, that was cancelled though because it took too long or something. Um, and what they're working on now, um, pretty much confirmed is the Horizon MMO. But that's not been for years. It's been like last November when it was announced, or a, when it went public. Um, like that they have a deal with NCSoft. So yeah, like, it, it, it's it's not for years. They have been experimenting for years. Like that's a that's a fact. Um, for example, we know from their um, like the press conferences with NCSoft that they were working like for example a mobile game and wanted to see if that sticks. But turned out turns out nope, it doesn't. Like 
doesn't really work in in Guild Wars. Um, Wait, what is it? The mobile game thing? What do you uh, What do you know about that? Like they were trying um, to, to get it working. I guess is that the thing? Yeah, like, basically they had a press conference and they they said like, yeah, we tried experimenting with mobile games with the Guild Wars IP, um, but it didn't work. Like we couldn't get a concept going that was like working or whatever um, in their internal testing. And right. then they dropped it. They're like, there's like images of it. Um, I, you might have seen them like a year or two ago um, from some like developer um, with like a really like weird um, uh, South Sun Cove, like really like mobile game kind of stuff. Right. You know, um, uh, maybe we can search for it. Um, South Sun Cove. Oh, I, I'm not mobile. sure if you're gonna find it. Yeah, yeah, like, probably not. Been, right. Gears 2 game. May, may probably not, right? But yeah, okay. But yeah, there's things, I guess, there's uh, little Maybe leaks, Gears I guess. Gears 2 Mobile. Yeah, yeah Gears 2 Mobile. We can um, try and search about it. Yeah. Like, for example, like, you know, the um, the really, like, the animated trailer on the um, the website? On, yeah, like, people were like, yeah. suspecting that's a mobile game trailer when it right. came out, and they just reused it for Guild Wars 2 because it looks nothing like Guild Wars 2. Yeah, um, yeah. I think what wasn't yeah. there like maybe some yeah there's like an animated um in Path of Fire maybe like even um uh what's the word um uh, like a, a trailer with the the main character that maybe they were saying like that but like it's all it's all like a speculation I guess right but I think it's like yeah, at the like, end, yeah yeah you know go ahead yeah I think at the um, end of the day like th there's a few things well I was gonna actually yeah I was talking about this on chat beforehand but like for example the unknowns program now okay so we know that one thing is the um. Is the is the horizon and all right? But then again, yeah. I think in this is one of the biggest things in my opinion is like, uh, and at the end of the day, they are kind of in a company that is like, because like are the horizon and all would they even be theirs? Let's say that they are doing that and then putting a lot of effort in that, and that's the only unannounced project. Let's say that, that is the case. Uh, would they mm -hmm. actually um, want that to be the case if there is not their own IP as well? Like, I guess would it be working kind of like what Cinemax does for like uh, the other schools? Do you think? That would be like the kind of arrangement they would have if that was the case. Um, you need to uh, educate me. What does Cinemax do? Like, I I know nothing about other oh, okay. MMOs. I mean, for, <laughs> yeah, for what I understand, that Cinemax kind of makes the, uh, the and develop, and you know, they they make all decisions for uh, what ESO is, even though they're not. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're not Bethesda, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess they they probably get a lot of the money, even though it's not their IP, right? If I were to guess. Yeah, well, I guess, I mean, it's similar with NC Soft and Guild Wars 2. Like, Guild Wars yeah, 2 is so. still calling the, making the decisions for the most part, but obviously they have to like, talk with their shareholders, like, hey, can we have money for this? Um, but, yeah, like, for, because you mentioned that, like, would they even go this, this far? Um, because, like, like, why why would they even make another game? Like, that, that's the, that is a, the that's other a question. Point, yeah, because, yeah. like, like why, why they would they even go... Yours is kind of yeah. doing pretty well, and they get a lot of money out of it, right? Is the biggest thing, right? So, like, in any way, yeah. they, like, if they, whatever they do, they have to, it has to be, it, it doesn't have to kill Girls 2. Because, like, if doing a new MMO, um, it kind of can fuck over your main source of income, right? Uh, and that's probably not what they want, right? Um, they probably, yeah, yeah. yeah, they really probably don't want that, right? It's so like with um, Horizon, um, like, People are calling it fantasy. Like I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it would um, fit in the genre. Like even if it does, like it, it's nothing like Guild Wars Two. So it's a different market anyway. It's the people who play the Horizon games who are going to yeah. play the Horizon MMO. Um, maybe like some other MMO gamers are going to hop on, but it, it's not the the target audience, like for sure. So you think um, you think even if like, let, let's say that they do they do make an MMO that is like it's their own MMO. Uh, because Horizon mm -hmm. is kind of like a, almost like a shooter type of game. You mm -hmm. think it wouldn't even affect uh, Girls 2 as much, you think? Even in that case scenario? It, it, a full-on MMO? Yeah. It, it, dep it depends on like um, like what the MMO is like. like yeah, um, I guess so. Compare, if, if, for example, if it was New World they were making, yeah. Um, then yeah, because New World ticks a lot of the boxes like uh, for Guild Wars 2 players as well. But if they're making a, a game like WoW or Final Fantasy, like, it, it's not really the target audience of Guild Wars 2. Hmm. Um, so yeah, like, it, it really depends possible. on what they would be making. Um, for example, like just compare Guild Wars one and two. Like they're nothing alike. One is like a co-op RPG, and the other one is an MMO RPG. Um, like, they're in the same universe, but they play nothing alike. Um, so like e even that wouldn't really um, affect Guild Wars two. Right, that's a good so, point. Like, uh, do we even know how big the involvement from Anet is in this new MMO? If they're just an advisor, that could mean close to nothing. It could be, but we don't really know. I mean, we know that they're working on the Horizon MMO, 
uh, or at least they're like the uh, they're being they're helping at least. Uh, but I'm what what do we not know that the on there was like a lot of confirmations from the listings in the Onons project. I think that kind of almost very much very well hint to the fact that that is the the thing they're working. Do you remember a few so, of those things? So not for, for one, um, N3Soft literally confirmed, as far as I know, that uh, it's that they are working with Sony on an, on a game, and like a lot of rumors are like, oh yeah, like, which which N3Soft studio has experience with MMO as well? I mean, take a yeah. guess. Um, yeah. But also, like, uh, Arena has been hiring like crazy for an unannounced project, and yeah, it makes sense. Like Unreal Engine Four, um, like what other game engine would you make a new game in? Um, so it, it makes sense. Like, I don't think it's like a hundred percent set in stone, but it's pretty damn clear that it would be arena net and they're working on horizon. Um, yeah, especially because I, I guess a few of the things that say on the listing is like, it's at least back in the day, it was like from, a established IP, uh, as well. Uh, they, I oh, think yeah, they mentioned um, that as well. So it probably would be, uh, I mean, I guess you could always say like, oh, it's, it's just Guild Wars 2 again, right? Or Guild Wars 3 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, if, for example, okay, um, if, if this is interesting what you mentioned there, because like we talked about this in DMs. Yeah. So, basically, um, it, it was probably 2020-ish. I, I would need to look. Um, actually, I can't look. I, I mentioned this like, because it was on Teapot's Discord where I discussed this, mm -hmm. and he cleansed all the old messages. <laughs> um, but it was like 2020, 2021, something like that. Um, but basically, there was a job post for an unannounced project, um, and it, it literally said word for word, it's like iterating on Guild Wars 2's combat system. Um, so yeah, even if, if that was another game, um, it doesn't really make sense. Like if it was Horizon or whatever, or even back then, why would Horizon, a game that's nothing like Guild Wars 2, have combat that is like Guild Wars 2? It, it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, and it also like, mentioned like a an established online fantasy IP, um, well-funded in pre-production, something along those lines. So, yeah, yeah something again, was going on there. Yeah, the thing is, like, there's so many things that they have tried to do that it's hard to know which things are, like, like, which things we can say, like, that makes sense with what we have now and what things got cancelled. is uh, kind of hard, right? The only thing we kind of probably know is that yeah, the Horizon MMO most likely, like I think it's pretty likely that it is being developed by Anet. Now, yeah. is that their main project? That's a good question, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. I think at, at the end of the day, I think what we should definitely do is like make like a list of the actual possibilities, right? Like what are the actual possibilities mm -hmm. that uh, Anet could be doing, right? Like at the end of the day, the the possibilities are what the Honorance project is the MMO uh, Horizon is the Horizon MMO, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's I guess. Um, Guild Wars 2 updated to somewhere to somewhere else, right? So to some other engine, uh, to some yeah. other engine. Uh, Guild Wars 3, um, it is online. I think that's 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 established. Uh, I think that it is yeah. an online MMORPG, right? Um, yeah. So it can be really anything else. Uh, you, uh, is there anything that could say that it's not a mobile game uh, in the uh, in the listings? Could it be just an MMO or like a version of Guild Wars 2 that's a mobile? Mm, no, because all of the listings um, mentioned multi-platform. So even if it wasn't mobile to an extent, I, oh, I right. highly doubt it. It does make sense. Like it, it makes more sense to be on console as well, uh, not right. just PC. But I don't think mobile. Mobile <laughs> like, PC games on mobile don't really work. Yeah, guys, imagine um, mobile it, game yeah. in only console as well. Like mo not PC. That would be that would be good. That would be a good game. Yeah, <laughs> Guild Wars Three is a mobile and Xbox. Like, yeah, nothing else. Yeah, something. exclusive. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that would be very good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you okay. can pay gems to uh, to play it on your computer for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the subscription type game feels good. Okay, so that's I think those are the uh, actual um, actual things. So let's think about how how likely it is for each one, right? Like what? Let's say that for one re okay for one reason the Horizon Remo is kind of likely because well they are definitely doing this. This uh, it's most likely they're doing this, right? They mm. are uh, okay Horizon Remo. They are doing, they are probably helping with this. Uh, with so this. you're likely for each? Like, 
demonic yeah. Yeah. I think debunk the arena. Nothing happens. Like, yeah, <laughs> they're nothing. shutting there's, everything down. Yeah, they're just going to completely <laughs> shut down everything. and Everything's going to get cancelled. Yeah. They're uh, declaring bankruptcy tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So the the Horizon Wall, yeah, they're probably they're they're probably doing this because uh, NCSoft uh, confirmed uh, confirmed, right? Um, yeah. What else? Is there anything else that we could say like, oh well, they're probably gonna make it. Um, other well, than that, I mean, it's a real engine mean, four, like, Unreal Engine. Yeah. Four, right. Yeah. That's that's another point. Yeah. What are you gonna say? This is what I mean because, like, I I am the Giga Cope, um, <laughs> and I I'm gonna be like, oh, I fucking told you so when I'm right. Um, wow. Because I was also right with Direct X Eleven. Like, I I oh. I called Direct X Eleven like three years before it happened, like two or three, and everybody called me insane and said, no, Guild Wars Two is dead. It's in maintenance mode. Yeah. True. Um, and like, look where we are today. <laughs> True, <laughs> but no. Um... And here's the thing: like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you don't believe it. Like we're just discussing the arguments, right? That's the only thing we yeah. are. Like at the end of the day, like it might happen or not, why not? But all the arguments we're gonna say are gonna be well true. Like at the end of the day, we can't really foresee the future, but we can see what the evidence kind of shows us, right? And what it points towards, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, but, uh, you know, like. Mm -hmm. What I, what I mentioned there is like uh, I I'm an incredibly strong believer that Guild Wars like let's say Renet is cooking something for Guild Wars, um, because I, I mentioned this to you on like uh, yeah. in DMs like yeah. numerous times. There's no fucking way that they're more than halving the content, um, take more money for it, and then don't do anything with it and just bleed out the IP. Because if you break it down, so like the expansion itself is half, right? So instead of four maps, we get two. Instead of um, four strikes, we get two and whatnot. So that's half baseline. However, um, it, we also don't have Living World anymore, which would be much, much more as well. It would be like, it was like a third of what we used to get. Because we would get like three, four maps throughout the year as well. Um, and now we get way less throughout the entire year. And there's no way that they're taking more money for that, um, and the money just goes into NC soft pockets. Like, there's no way. Yeah, I mean, it's the, also, it's, the, the it's only way logical. the only way they would have to, like the only reason why they would do that is like they literally want to like kill their company, right? Which is, I mean, I don't know why they would do that, right? And also, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Okay, so like, okay, let's let's put another one here. Uh, let's put like, yeah, yeah. why, 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 Anet is uh, what's word? Um, investing into guild wars ip i'm gonna fucking die it's okay i'm just gonna run away uh yeah so what is the reason right the reasons are because um they are investing into the, they are investing into the game right like they are right uh, they are mm -hmm. the, for example the wizard's vault is like a um, it's like a very important uh, point of this like the wizard's vault does give nothing to anet right it just makes them literally lose uh, it just makes them lose money because at the end of the day, less gold that you have to buy, more rewards in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna have to people players are gonna have to uh, swipe less, right? So Wizards Vault, uh, DX11, uh, alliances, yeah, alliances. Even though they haven't been released, at the end of the day, look, they could have just fucking abandoned it, and there's no reason why not, to, n why uh, not to do that. Like, there's literally no reason to keep mentioning if they really want to abandon the game completely, right? Or like at least the IP or kill their company, like it makes no sense, right? Uh, the X11 Alliance, um, Living World Season One, and honestly, just the fact that they changed their uh, model of um, they changed their model of um, of doing expansions is also another way. Like, it's also another reason because they probably could have just honestly then EOD say nothing and people would have been like, oh, are we gonna get another one? Oh, I don't, I don't know, or whatever, and they probably would have kept swiping and fucking getting money anyways. Um, for yeah. long years, right? And use whatever that is to, well, shut down the company or do another project, right? Um, yeah. Let me let me make my claim to the chat of why I believe something is happening at ArenaNet. Um, okay. For Guild Wars, especially, because, like, yeah. I mean, something's so they, happening, right? But yeah. Yeah, it's like, as I already mentioned, like, they, they gutted, basically, the content we're getting in the game and take more money. If you, if you do the maths, basically... Um, someone who has played since launch and bought all the expansions has on average spent 15 bucks a year. Um, and now it's 25 bucks a year if you continue, right? So it's a $10 more you earn every year. Um, 
it's like they're taking more money, like, period. Um, like, earning more. But they're not gonna bleed out Guild Wars 2. Like, because what do you do if you have something that's earning you good money? You don't bleed it out over time to earn less money. You don't milk it to death. You, you keep growing it. Because if they wanted to do that, why are they doing it now instead of during Icebreak Saga? Um, it, it, it makes no sense. Like if I, I can post the, the spreadsheet with the numbers, you know, um, I can show this on stream if you if you want. Like, it makes no sense. Like Guild Wars Two was fucking dead and buried in 2019, and they pulled it back from the dead with EOD and like the year after. Like the the earnings are as good as in uh, in Heart of Thorns. Like the game was like so fucking hyped back then. So why would they kill it now? When it's like massively recovered and is actually doing really, really well, um, why would they do it now instead of like going, okay, well, Ice Saga, it was fucked. Let's take whatever we can and uh, reinvest in another game. It, it doesn't it really make sense. Um, yeah, because back in the day when the Lions happened, yeah. they had the two options, right? They were like, okay, do we just abandon this game and create a new one and just focus on that? Or do we just continue mm -hmm. with Guild Wars 2? And they decided for Guild Wars 2, right? Um, yeah. they, they tried it again with the Azure Saga that didn't quite work out, and they had the option again to do it again. Okay, okay, guys, do we do, do we do the expansion? Well, I guess I guess NCSoft kind of forced them to do the expansion, right? And I guess maybe NCSoft is even doing this, but like, no, guys, because like also that yeah, they kind of have a responsibility to NCSoft. They they might be that NCSoft is being like, guys, you have a good fucking thing here. You're making us money. Shut the fuck up and continue the game, right? That actually might be the case as well, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, it could be. But like also like um. Like, why I think it's highly likely that um, like a Guild Wars 2.5 or 3 or whatever is happening, or like something for Guild Wars. Um, because, yeah, um, as I said, they have more resources now. Um, but they also, they have um, not only more money, but they also have like more resources. Like, uh, right? They, um, they, more time, they right? said themselves, they, like, yeah. they said like last month in their blog post, whatever, that they're already working on Expansion 5. Like we haven't even got the patches yet for yeah. uh, for Soto, and they're already one year ahead of content. Right. So, what do you do with this one year of extra time you have now? Previously, that extra time all went into Living World. Where does it go now? It doesn't go into Horizon. They hired tons and tons of new people for that. Like, where yeah. does it go? Yeah, and even Guild Wars 2, like only even Guild Wars 2 got uh, more hirings, right? Not only on an announced project, right? As well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, for example, there's a very interesting like, new post today. Um, what was it again? Um, you can link it to me. Uh, it's, oh yeah, like we we talked about this, right? Um, oh. There's now a senior product manager for Guild Wars 2. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a big one. We, we talked about the, the director who's going to um, like um, teach a and, and train a product manager and now there is a product manager lo being looked for yeah so this is this post here is actually very interesting where is it uh we have it oh my god we talk so much fuck me uh oh, there you go the, yeah the senior director production right um and it says and it on this one you can go check it out I, I can post it in the chat right but you can go check it but it actually says which is a very weird wording right so in, in in this part, it says mentor a future studio leader to build the experience and knowledge set to be a production director and future on a future project. So this honestly even says that not only they're doing because uh, this this is for the unannounced project, right? But essentially yeah. saying whatever this unannounced project is, there's gonna be another one. Right? We want to do yeah. There's more. gonna be yet another one. Yeah. So they're essentially even if you guys can say like, oh well, there's gonna move to this one. Uh, there's no way that they're gonna discontinue the company, right? Like they're they're hiring for an one project and thinking about doing another one, um, and well, I mean, I guess the uh, the big <laughs> the big like conspiracy theory is like they're trying to like essentially get up someone to like or, or Grouch or someone else, whatever, to mentor them into being the you know the uh, the senior director of course on production or, or whatever, like and make them better for what Guild Wars Two is or for what other other project is, or maybe they, that way they're essentially saying that they want um, that game there to, to help uh, you know make the Guild Wars Two team better, of, of course as well, right? So yeah, it's actually I mean at the end of the day, like the whole like oh Anet is gonna be like just discontinued, they're gonna stop and you're gonna milk us and, and stop. It makes no sense. They're they're definitely investing the money into some in into the company, right? Mm -hmm. Um yeah, like that seems oh, oh, like oh, so honestly 
undeniable at this point. Yeah, also because like um, some guy named said, um, like the same conclusion to the three years all going into the gem store. <laughs> because I, I hear there's a lot. I um, mean, he's strolling, but yes. <laughs> almost none of the gem store stuff is by Arena. It's all from third party. Like even oh. the images on the gem store are from partners. Um, it's all um, contractors. Like none of it is done by Arena themselves. Like, like only That's like a handful point. of skins. Um, so like they're not losing any resources doing that. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, it, it basically, like, they they now look for a product manager for Guild Wars 2. This is probably in response to, um, what was his name again? JT? John Taylor or something? Okay. Um, he, he silently left the company in February and like, made his own company. Um, so like, it's only Colin Johansson now. And oh, well, right. they probably won the second one because they had two before. Yeah, probably. Wait, what? I mean, yeah, like, it, all the Gemster stuff is... Um, uh, is not by Arena themselves. It's all um, contracted to to other studios and stuff. So you're saying not only them. the so you're not saying only the uh, the images, but the fact the actual um, what's word the actual in-game items. You're saying right? Yeah, they're all outsourced. Like um, you can see, uh, oh, you you could find yeah, this like, stuff. Um, there's a lot of portfolios online who show the entire gem store skin sets and whatnot. Um, I, I can tell you, like, um, you know, um, Marius uh, Boda Epos. Um, you might know him from Teapot. He, for example, is one of the Anit partners, um, and he does a lot of the Gemstore images, like so, like the art, and other partners do too. So, like basically, the entire Gemstore is outsourced. None of it, none of it, is taken away from Arena. Um, the Arena, I think, only does the actual like in-game earnable skins themselves. So, if you want to complain, complain about those. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't uh, Anit yeah, yeah. use more Kumar contractors? What the fuck? Yeah, they have to get the fucking Lost Art contractors, man. What the fuck, Anit? Get in there. Uh, another example is. Uh, long that guy left. GG dead. Game confirmed again. No, because he didn't do anything. Um, like he, sure he was leading the game, but I, I'm I'm sorry, but like, was he really relevant if you didn't even know he left? Like. Almost like a year ago at this point, actually half a year ago, let's say. Um, like the the people who are driving the game, um, like mainly the person who's driving the game is Grouch. Like, he's the game director, and even if um, because people also say, oh yeah, he's gone silent, he doesn't talk anymore. Like the studio blog post, like the one we had like a month ago, um, is also from him. Mm -hmm. Like um, they they actually leaked that in the in the uh, email. Like they sent out an email, like oh yeah, like. Check out Grouch's post in like, the studio, and uh, ah, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah Grouch does care a lot about the fun. game, right? He does, right? Um, yeah, you take me to serious mode, I don't know, serious like 90% of the time in this chat. Oh, well, I'm bad at sarcasm. Right? Yeah, you know, yeah. You, can, you know, I'll tell you, okay? Look, guys, <laughs> if you want to be sarcasm, put exit tree at the end. There we go, fixed. Yeah, hey, there you go. It's fixed. If you put the tree or kappa, I'll know. Yeah, just you need to put it though, because otherwise we're gonna get confused, okay? Because you will never be alive until I see an update tree texture in court, bro. Well, that's another thing I think that you made the video of. Like, a lot of the, um, and the, oh, this yeah. is like, this is like, this is, you could argue it's like Gear Wars 3 cope or Gear Wars 2 cope, but. Um, oh man, I, 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 to be fair, like, I yeah. was heartbroken. Um, okay. You know, like, I, I made the video on the all the new assets they made for Garenhof, right? Yeah. Um, because like all the houses are new and everything. Um, and I was 100% expecting them to put those in the core game because all you have to do is literally replace a file. Um, but they have The models are identical <laughs> in dimensions and whatnot. Right. Um, but they didn't do it. And Sognos actually made me aware. Um, that it would be like you have a fucking um, like Lamborghini, Ferrari, or whatever, but you live in the slums. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like, like, he made yeah. a point there that basically, um, if they are like remaking all the models bit by bit, like let's say this time it was uh, human models, next time it's char or whatever, mm -hmm. um, then maybe like three expansions down the line they update all everything at once because then it looks better than. Yeah, that's a good a, point. Yeah. yeah. So, so what 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 um Delta was saying in that video essentially like because a lot of the models from um from uh, the new expansion Garenhof. are essentially yeah from Garenhof, right? They're all models that actually are in the game, like in Queensland and everything, but they're just updated. They're just making essentially the the arguments like, oh well, they're just gonna you know update everything from the game, um, 
and um, and you know like well start making Guild Two look a bit more updated to the current uh, year, right? Which could be yeah. the case, right? But I guess as you said, and I think that's honestly a good point. Like if they want to make something like Guild Wars, Guild Wars Two Point Five or Guild Wars Three or whatever, they would probably mm. want to not do it like slowly. They would want to put everything in and be like. This update, everything's updated and looks great, you know? That's probably what yeah. they would want to like do. If they, if they do it bit by bit, it's like, oh, yeah, that's You're nice. But like, it's not going to be as impactful if you log in like one day from uh, to the other. And suddenly the entire game looks way better. Yeah, um, yeah. It's much more of a selling point to be like, oh, yeah, Guild Wars 2 Reborn or whatever. Um, <laughs> then, oh, yeah, we we remade, remade a few models. Like, there you go. You can play them now. Yeah, like it doesn't. Yeah, it's like it, who cares, right? Like, and, and that doesn't. And that's the biggest thing with like Guild Wars Three. Like an old, it's an old game, right? So it's like, do we like what anyone wants to do is like do such a big important moment in the game that everyone, uh, everyone knows about it and everyone talks about it. Like, yeah, we meme about the fucking peon uh, video. Like he's saying that the game looks bad or like outdated. But I'm sure a lot of people look at the game and be like, oh, that looks old, right? Um, may not like, oh, it looks ugly, but they probably like, be like, oh. It doesn't look as you know as good as fucking Black Dark or whatever. And if you make your game look awesome and beautiful, like New World uh, or whatever, or Black Dark, people are gonna see them like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I should try that game. Uh, maybe it doesn't yeah. end up like being like this insane thing that I will change the game forever, but it does make people more interested in it. Right. So it's kind of important, right? For sure. Yeah. And I, um, I, I'm also like actually believe um, that they will like this is like my main cope theory basically. Um, I'm actually like, no longer 99 percent convinced by it. I'm 100 percent convinced. 100 confirms. Um, okay. Yeah, 100. Like, All yeah. Right. Um, basically, I believe that they're porting the entire game. And, and why do I believe that? So like, if you if you dig a bit at the game, like you know how it's built, you know that a lot of the internal tools they use are already Unreal Engine 4. Um, so if they're actually going to update the entire game, it would be Unreal Engine 4. Why would they update the game instead of um, making Guild Wars 3? It's simple, it's, it's way cheaper. It's way cheaper, it doesn't alienate your players because everyone gets to keep everything they made and like all the progress. And yeah, it's just more logical. And there are other games who pull it off perfectly. Like, look at Counter-Strike, pulled it off like perfectly like a week ago or so. Um, in entire game is the same, but it, it's on a completely new engine. Um, is it, wait, is it and, really yeah, a completely new engine? I thought it was just like a graphical update. It's literally another I mean, engine. It, it's from Source 1 to Source 2. The entire engine is completely different. It's oh, okay. way more like Unreal Engine. Um, and, and nothing is alike. I, I mean, trust me, if when I finally get my hands on the on the Source 2, then I can I can do an in-depth analysis and actually port all my all my tools and like um, yeah, and maps, but do, for do now I can't. Do the big Delta video with the big cope and everything? And just make everyone yeah. like, oh man, he's right or no, he's not right. He's just coping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if people call me Coke, then like, I mean, so be it. Can, I believe, I believe I mean, in the game. At the end of the day, um, it's irrelevant to say Coke or not. Like, if the you know, if the evidence is there, the evidence is there, right? That evidence might not lead to the to conclusion that he's uh, the Delta is going to, right? Of course, this could yeah. all be things that are true, and maybe it would be like it. It could perfectly be the case that something like this is possible and it is the right decision, and then Ender just doesn't do it, right? That's completely possible as well, right? Maybe yeah, just yeah. make the wrong decision, right? Um, I mean, yeah, there's a good chance that I'm wrong, but I'm taking that gamble um, because I mean, someone has to, right? Thing. <laughs> no, no, not even that. But like, I, 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 I genuinely believe it. I, I, I put all my eggs in that basket. Um, that's why I am doing yeah. raid core, and that's why I basically, basically spend my entire day developing shit for Guild Wars Two. Um, and to get back to what I was saying, a, yeah, like half the game already is Unreal Engine, and it's a bit off topic, um, but basically, some of you, like, you um, more morally questionable people in chat, there's a hack for Guild Wars 2, like, or a botting program. Um, and it rebuilt almost the entirety of the game in Godot, uh, which is another game engine. So, like, and, and that's made by two people. So, if two people who don't have access to the source code can reverse engineer the entire game and remake it in another engine, I I kind of think that an entire studio can with the source code, you know, um, and that being maybe it, a bit it, far fetched, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it is also true. Like, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, apparently, uh, for what I understand, the 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 the, um, the code is kind of fucked anyway, so they kind of have to do reverse engineering 
anyways to like fix bugs and do more content because like or like fix bugs uh, in the old content or whatever or or how does that work? I mean, oh yeah, I mean, it, like, there's a bit of a distinction here. Like, um, mm -hmm. When I say reverse engineering in that context, I mean okay. literally you don't have anything. Um, uh, you don't even have the code. You have literally a few bytes and you read them out. What a reinit has is a code, sure. Um, and it's not documented properly. So I have to figure out, okay, what the fuck does this code even do? Um, <laughs> but they still have the code, so right. they can change it and whatnot. Well then, um, for example, I would ask you, like, what do you think it would be easier for them to, like, fix their own code that is very old? Or it would it be easier for them to, well, move the thing to the entire new engine, for example? Because, um, basically, fixing the old code is, mm -hmm. like... You don't know what it's all tied to. If you remake the entire game, like Counter-Strike 2, um, like some stuff will be different, but generally it feels the same. Like, oh yeah, like the movement might feel like a bit different, but still the same. Um, like, stuff like that, basically. So, let me... And, would it be... Yeah. Would it almost be like... Would it be like... You have, let's say you have... Um, Oh man, what would it be like? Would it would it almost be like making a, re a recipe from the start, trying to imitate something, and that would be like you know moving the game to another engine, and the other one would be to like entangle an insane amount, like essentially transform. No, no, it would it would be no. I guess you can't untangle something. Even more like maybe like you have a room for the fucking uh, it's completely the like completely what's the word messy, and you can't see what the fuck everything is, and you have to reorder it, and that would be like mm. refixing your you know refi like refixing the code. And then mm -hmm. the other way, like and um, the uh, other way, the engine way, like re moving into another engine would be to just recreate the uh, <laughs> recreate the room, but correctly, right? Uh, and maybe yeah, like kind of. yeah, maybe some of that. And in this yeah, case, it's so of. it's so messy um, that it's like impossible. Or, well, not impossible, but, like even like harder to do than just redoing it uh, over again, maybe. Yeah, it kind of like basically, um, if you if you want to unfuck the game, it. Right. It takes up way more resources than just trying to remake it, and that's what they're doing. Like, look, they they're not remaking the service. Like they're not unfucking the server system. They make alliances, like world restructuring, for that matter. Um, because way simpler to just rewrite the entire system than to understand what some developers did like ten years ago or twenty. Like, think about this. Like, this is the best time for Arena to actually go for like, a. Um, a port or a rework because the game engine is I think it's turning 20 years old next year mm. and yeah. the game is still built on that code it's 20 years old um, it, that's, that's actually insane and yeah. it's barely gotten updates over those years um, and, and also to support that um, the new Wizards Vault UI, it's not actually part of the native UI. It's another um, browser window, like the guild, in, uh, guild stuff or the trading post. So it's not even actually UI. They said um, alliances, the UI is delayed because they have issues with that. Um, right. So it's not happening this year. Um, another massive point, like the UI is fucked. Um, but also, uh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, in any case, like the um, the entire game, like it, it's the perfect time to actually port it. Um, the the game is so old. Um, yeah, yeah. DirectX 11 was a band aid fix. They didn't switch out the renderer. They put a system that basically translated their calls to DirectX 11. So you know how how Direct um, there was this like add on like D9 12 PXY whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. It translated DirectX 9 calls to DirectX 12. Oh, In a similar too, uh, way, um, the stuff they added functions. BGFX is basically like that. They they don't deal with the rendering anymore. Like DirectX 9 is too old. Like I don't want to unfuck that code. I'm just going to slap something on it and translates it. And there you go. And that's what they did. It was a band-aid fix. Why would they do a band-aid fix, which is better than nothing, if they don't plan to do more with it? And yeah. they obviously do plan to do more with it because they... They announced like another expansion, you know, um, and since then, uh, since then they had two uh, expansions already. Yeah, that, 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 I think that's the biggest thing. Like, um, the, the biggest thing what make that makes me go for the Gears to to another engine idea is that they're just investing too much into it. Like, it just it would be so much wasted. Like everything in the game right now. Like, if they wanted to abandon it, it'd be they. they I feel like they would be not doing all of these things, right? Um. 
Like they're just, just investing too much onto it. Um, they could be doing both at the same time, right? They could be doing the Horizon NMO thing for money, right? Yeah. Of course, uh, because obviously oh, no, Sony's gonna 100%. kill, kill. They're gonna buy them, right? They're gonna pay them a lot of money for this, right? Of course, uh, and of course for Guild Wars Two, uh, but their own project for their for for their stuff for their um, benefit of their company to do this instead, right? Uh, what is this again? Um, what is this again? The thing that you said... Oh, yeah. Investing too much. Investing a lot into Guild Wars 2, right? Uh, yeah, like, for example, um, like, um, the Alliance system, like the backend system. So if they are porting to a new engine, they can just reuse that. Like All of the stuff they're rewriting, the Wizard Vault... Um, the what else did they rework? They reworked a bunch of stuff. I don't even know anymore. Um, like all of that code they're rewriting, they can just reuse it. So they're not even losing anything. Wait, so they could probably rather easily port um, all the new stuff to Unreal Engine. So you're saying that wait, why do why can they reuse the new things that they, re, they, they that they revamped? I don't get that. Why 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 are you doing it? Basically, um, like the old code is fucked. He right. was like, my code, I don't know what it does. It's 20 years old. Like, I don't know what it does. Um, in the new code, they know what it does. They have it documented. They can just integrate it into the new engine. Right. So, but, but then again, they could, it, always, not, they, it, they could also just, you know, essentially, that that point goes for uh, Guild Wars 2 to another engine and for uh, they just continue doing Guild Wars 2 as they are always been, right? It goes for oh, both yeah, of them, course. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, of course. Yeah, because they could be um, but, you know, from the same thing. They could be like, okay, we're just gonna re rewrite like the things that are fucked, and in the other way, they go for like the ending up there. Like in both ways, there you'd be you'd be the same, right? In yeah. some ways, it's um, almost more like a pro from the from the uh, we're just gonna continue the game, They're essentially untangling the code or remaking it when they need to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, more, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and also like, um, to to address what you said there with uh, Guild Wars Two and Horizon being worked on at the same time, one hundred percent. Like in um, in the very early job posts, like that were like early last year, um, it specifically mentioned about making a new team. So they're not, and also we can track this. Like we can, if you want to go on Hinge, you can track LinkedIn, so you can track Twitter and whatnot, yeah. and you can see like, what the devs are working on. And like most of them still say Guild Wars 2. Um, yeah. So it's not like, oh yeah, they, oh yeah, they moved all the devs from Guild Wars Two onto Horizon, and it's not happening. They hired like so many new people. Yeah. Um, and, and again, like, this would defeat the purpose of why do they even make these other games? Or, like, want to make other games to diversify, to like, secure um, your future as a game studio, and right. you don't secure your future by killing off one project. Uh, yeah, because like being alone again with one they, project, and they could have, and they could have been like, okay, guys, we're gonna, you know, we got the Guild Wars two, we got the Sony deal, we're just gonna focus on this thing and fuck Guild Wars two. That fuck, it, it's not worth doing it. But they're continuing doing, continually uh, doing it, right? So they obviously care yeah. about the future of the uh, of the company at least, right? Yeah, for sure, I would agree yeah. with that. And they, Guild Wars Two is it's going to be around for like at least another ten years. Like not Guild Wars Two, but Guild Wars. Um, like there's no way they're killing off their IP, like their flagship IP. Yeah. If you hear Arena, you think Guild Wars. Um, even if they're going to make uh, the Horizon mode, it's like a massive game, like the best game ever. It's still going to be the Guild Wars company. Um, why yeah. would you kill your own IP in favor of an IP that you don't even own? Yeah, exactly. That is, I think that's the biggest point of like all of this, right? It's like, why the fuck would you kill your own IP? Like, like why? Wh why would you invest something into fucking Horizon? That it's known for sure, but honestly, it's probably as known, if not less known, than it's more relevant today. But the amount of people that know Guild Wars, it's it's insane, right? It's a it's a big it's a big IP. It's kind of an old IP, uh, and I would agree yeah, with that, right? Also, but it also, is very relevant, right? Like, Here's the thing, because I think Nike mentioned this. Um, basically, um, I was like, yeah, why would you do that? And it was like, oh, yeah, to take the gamble. Um, but it's such a massive gamble to risk the entirety of the IP for um, an IP you don't even know if it's going to work as an MMO. Um, because Horizon is not an MMO MMORPG. Like, yep. You don't even know if it's going to work. So it's yeah. even more of a gamble. Yeah, because even... Yeah, because like maybe yeah, it, maybe the people who play the um uh maybe the people who play the um or Horizon games they just don't give a fuck about MMOs. They don't care about being online. It's a single player game. It's not even online. It's like fucking. It's like Assassin's Creed, right? It makes no. Is there's no guarantee that it actually works out, right? 
Um, mm. Yeah. And also, like, what what Dumont is saying, like, how can they afford um, making oh. a new, uh, like, porting it? Well, I told you, they they earn ten dollars per player per year more on average, um, so they have the funding to back it up, um, and they are one year ahead of content. They're working on expansion five as we speak. Like, Soto is done, entirely done. They're not touching it anymore. Like, they have the update stored. They may be doing Q and A. But the rest of the team is working on on um, on like expansion five. So like, what do you do with all this extra time you have? Well, now you have the money and resources to spend on porting a game. And yeah, like, um, Valve is bigger and they can actually port the game in four years. But Arena is smaller. Like, let it be eight years. But they can also do it. Um, yeah, they have been hiring. So like, that's also another point. Um, Wait, what did you and say? You to, uh, what, what, sorry? What did you say? Uh, something hiring over? I don't know what you said. Yeah, they've also been hiring like crazy. Like, really oh, nice. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, they basically. You need to, I, I don't track this in any way, so like, I can't really tell. But like, I look at the job posts and like, how much they've been posting ever since um, since EOD was announced. Um, basically, every, like, every fucking week there was a new post. Um, it, it, it was crazy. And it's still it's still coming, right? It won't stop uh, coming, you know. So it, it is. They also, have the resources. Yeah, it is also true, though. Um, I mean, the the Sony deal with Horizon. I mean, there's no shot they didn't get an insane amount of money for that, right? And sure, a lot of the money is gonna go for the funding, but of course they're oh, gonna make yeah. a profit out of that, right? Now you could say like, oh, they're gonna use them for like profit themselves, I guess. But I yeah. think we. I, I think at the same time we've also. I think we're pretty much established that I don't think they they want to like get the money and run it seems like they do want to continue the company um for all i i think for, for all we have discussed it seems to be that way um i yeah, just don't you're 100 correct with this by the way um like the the money to make horizon is not coming from arena net it's coming from sony yeah of course like, and ncsoft like sony made a deal with ncsoft they are funding the game they want to have yeah. Obviously, it's not like out of Arena's pockets. Yeah, of course not. So like um, them earning more per player now with less content is going to back towards Arena. Um, like it justifies to Ubisoft like, hey, we earn more money now. Can we can we please make another game or whatever? Um, it, it it's not like um this money goes into of pockets and like yeah, as I said, they run with it. Like no, there's no way if they see okay, and uh, Guild Wars Two is doing really well right now. Are they not going to be like, hmm, well, let's, let's take all the money and run. Like, yeah, like... It's yeah, logical. Like, it yeah, doesn't like, really make sense. Like, even in Google Trends, guys, like, fuck. Guild Wars 2, like, it, it used to be fucking irrelevant, okay? It, it used to be. Like, no one gave a fuck and no one talked about it. Uh, but look, fuck, like, we're close to fucking Final Fantasy, man, here. Like, we're... Well, of course, it's expansion, blah, 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 blah. And they haven't done an expansion, but... Is this this is the their expansion? I guess it was a mini expansion, but still, like we're kind of close to mm. them, right? And and if you see like a few years ago, um, in Google Trends, it's not this, you know, it's not the exact same thing, right? Of course, it's not because mm -hmm. it's good in Google Trends means like it's good in everywhere, right? But like fuck, look, we're fucking irrelevant, right? Like we were nothing, right? Uh, Final Fantasy is completely destroying us, right? Uh, yeah. So and yeah, sure, if you go for like World of Warcraft, yeah, we're fucking a fucking dot, right? But Look, World of Warcraft is fucking, it's cheating, okay? World of Warcraft is too much. Like, not even Final Fantasy can dethrone them. Like, look at that. Fuck, we're nothing compared to them, right? And and you mm -hmm. said that as well, Dumat, um, what is that? Uh, would um, would uh, Blizzard like to move to a new engine? Yeah, they probably would. And can they afford it? Probably not. Well, the thing is a bit difficult. Uh, it's not only even about affording. It's like, is it the right option? Is it the right answer? Because in some yeah, ways it yeah. may be, but even, even honestly... For for Blizzard, it may be just better to ma remake the game and just completely just, just kill WoW and just WoW 2 because a lot of people are not happy with the game. Um, that's the difference between Guild Wars 2 and WoW. Right now, there's not... I feel like a lot of people are kind of disappointed what WoW has become in back in the day, uh, like at the end, uh, in retail, but... And they want to come back with Classic. That's why Classic is so powerful, so so useful, so, um, so popular, right? But in Guild Wars 2... It's just kind of doing well and people kind of like it, right? They like what it has become, right? And sure, there's obsessions like, you know, the veterans or whatever. But most people here kind of do like it, right? For a while, it's a bit, I think, a bit different. Um, so they might actually want to go for the other one where it's like just make remaking the game, right? Uh, but even, yeah. even, even 
uh, Blizzard is actually doing new and um, actually Beller I think made a video about how they want to th there's a few possibilities that might be moving to or a new engine or just re re remaking the whole game to look better so it's actually not even like it's kind of like what they're doing a little bit right yeah. um, also to address this like, can Blizzard afford it absolutely can Blizzard afford it you know how much money they're making a year even Final Fantasy could afford it um, Final Fantasy makes like six times the amount of money Guild Wars 2 makes. Um, and yeah, compare that with WoW, like they can absolutely fuck port it. It's just a question, is it econo economically wi viable? Um, and with Guild Wars 2, I would say yes, like absolutely. Like as you can see, they definitely like, care about the future of the game. They're like, pumping out another expansion. Um, so they want to keep it going for quite a while. Um, and if they want to keep it going, they have to eventually port the... Um, the game because they said themselves like it's difficult for us to make content you see it with alliances It's difficult for us to make UI um, You and I think like, damn. It, yeah, just UI and I think if you port it to Unreal Engine we're well, making UI is very easy um, You sure you have an initial investment, but that's what it is an investment um, It's in my opinion the economically correct choice like the potential you have afterwards is much, much greater than if you just keep going right now as you are. Um, yeah. And <laughs> as I already mentioned, half the internal tools and like half the game already is partially Unreal Engine 4. So it's not as much of an effort as it would be for, like, say, WoW. Um, yeah. It's just and an also, example, right? And, and also the thing is, um, is that they have to, if they want to continue Guild Wars 2, as Sargis said here, they kind of have to do something, right? Because, uh, as you said, it's very hard for them to do content. So, like, what are they going to do? Just continue doing, dog, like, very, very lo big effort, low content, and an engine that is very old? No, all they have to fix their engine or, like, the code so it actually is easier to do and there's no one insane amount of work each time there's an update or they have to, you know, redo it and make it somewhere else, right? Uh, otherwise, they just have to abandon Guild Wars 2 completely at some point. Um... And that will be, and their out is indeed the Horizon MMO. That's a big out for that. And it, it doesn't seem like they're going for that. So, yeah, like, I don't know. Everything I see, in my opinion, is like, it, it seems to lead in some of these ways. Now, obviously, it's not confirmed and anything could happen. And they could also, even if it makes sense, make the wrong choice. But, mm. yeah, it makes yeah. like this, the same, it seems like the good idea to, this seems like at least the correct, correct choice um, for what I, I can think of, right? Let's take like five steps back because Duma is saying, like, oh, yeah, like, um, zero hope for like, um, like a new engine. Okay, but here's the thing I, as I said, Arenet has more resource, they're one year ahead of schedule, and they have more money now. Um, it's either that they're working on something big, like it was 2.5, whatever it be, um, or they're going to be ramping up the expansions and content because there's no way they're going to give us a half expansion every year. Um, and take more money for it. Like you, you look at the how how unhappy the player is. It's like because like oh yeah, it's five bucks less, but like half the content. Um, Although to to be fair, and I will say this, man, I don't know, I don't know if you yeah. see the fucking new world fucking expansion, but holy fuck, it's not that much, goddamn. And they charge thirty dollars yeah, yeah. for it, like goddamn. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, I, but uh, yeah. And then like, um, like I was just saying, like so, like, yeah, sure. Like, um, the community is unhappy right now, and they're like, yeah, sure. Okay, this expansion I buy, maybe the next one I buy as well at this price, and see how it goes. But eventually they'll quit. Like there's no way they're bleeding out the player base without doing anything. There has to be something going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would, I would agree. Like at least, yeah, they, they're, they're, unless they want their um, their company to die, they have to move. They have to do something big with it, right? With this, all these resources, right? Um, I, I agree with that. Now, what that is, we kind of have discussions here, right? And we kind of have to see what it actually is. But um, I think, it, it's not, honestly, it's not even about hope, right? It's not really about hope. Uh, like, you don't have to hope this or this other thing to happen. What you have to do is you'll be like, okay, this seems likely or this doesn't seem likely. Whatever happens, it is what it is, right? Like, what are you going to do? Like, if it doesn't happen, even if all that we say here makes sense, it might just not happen, right? Maybe fucking we, in, a, in a fucking few months we see a fucking insane layoff from fucking Anet and the fucking game is dead. Who the fuck knows, right? It, it's fine. We, we're gonna uh, find out in a, a month actually because in a month they're releasing the earnings reports for quarter three which do include the entirety of Soto sales. So that month might make or break all these three years. If we see, okay, well, it, it's fucked. It didn't earn nearly as much then um, 
We, you can expect another blog post around Christmas. We're changing our expansion model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if it doesn't work, it's well, it didn't work out. Bye, bye, oh, boys. Man. We're gonna try it again. Ha! <laughs> or they were like, guys, uh, we're not yeah. getting ex the last expansion is the last expansion. Well, they probably wouldn't say that anyways. Uh, yeah. They probably would be like, well, you know, guys, it is what it, you know. This next expansion next year. Ha! <laughs> and there's nothing else, right? It, which it could happen, but you know, we, like we literally like all we can do is like see the evidence and be like, okay, this might be possible. This not, might not be possible. And for now, at least in terms of possibility um, and ma things that make sense, uh, like everything here is like, you know, kind of possible, right? Um, I think honestly it would be like, I have to like actually make a good pros and cons and I'll probably put in, if I upload this into I'm YouTube, I put this in like in the bottom, everything corrected, mm. like everything that we've said in the, in the podcast, like in points, uh, but, it seems to be like, uh, in my opinion, the probably the biggest, um, most likely thing is like, or they do uh, get worse to another engine, or they untangle the fucking code, right? Uh, yeah. And fix because code. like also, right? it, it like, was two is growing like without a doubt. Like um, you see it with the strike numbers, the rate numbers, the overall player numbers. Um, so like, why would you not invest into something that is growing and make more money out of it? A I, I don't know. Like, I, here's the thing. I, it can be extremely cynical and be like, oh, well, yeah, like, they're just going to milk you and then fuck off. Um, but I don't think so, because Arena is still, like, very, very much a value-aligned company. And I don't think they would do that, like, unless... Not even yeah. if they were forced by NCSoft. Like, yeah, if they like, were forced by NCSoft to do that, I think they would just walk out. Yeah, like, like guys, okay, we say Enid or whatever, but first of all, Let's, let's be real. Yeah. Enet has changed directions in a long time, in many times in years. It's just not the same Enet we have had before. But you know what's been consistent about Enet? Not kind of trying to milk their player base insanely hard, right? Like in some ways, maybe they have, but like they're, they're a pretty fair company. This is not fucking Blizzard that we're talking about, right? Like if it was Blizzard, yeah, I'd be like, fuck, we're gonna get fucked, guys. It's over, right? <laughs> like there's no show they're gonna milk, they're not gonna milk us, but. This is not. This is not. This is not Blizzard. This is not like some dog shit company. It's fucking Arena, right? They 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 fuck themselves over time and time again, just so um, in terms of like money, just because they think it's like the correct thing to do, right? Like I don't think, like I don't think it's gonna be the case uh, that they're gonna just delete their game just because they wanna fucking milk us. And if they wanted to milk us, there's so many better ways to do it. Like if you wanna be evil, fucking do it correctly. They're just even that, there wouldn't be. They wouldn't be doing this. It just it just makes no sense, right? Yeah. Also, like, what what Sarax is saying here, yeah, like, you know, that means they might do another 180. Um, yeah, they might. Like, sure, there's a chance, but they did that last 180 around um, Icewood Saga, like after Icewood Saga, I mean, and now the game is like massively growing. Yeah. Um, Why would they do unless it now? Like, you give them a reason to do another 180? Yeah. I don't think they will. Every um, time the 180 has happened, is because it wasn't working, right? Every time, right? There's at no point they were like, guys, this is oh, making so much money, guys. Fuck, let's change the thing completely so it fucks us, so it completely fucks us. No, no one, I don't think that's ever happened, right? Um, do I have to you enable know, that like, emote? Like, is, is that what I need to do right now? I, milk arena I don't think there's an emote, but I, but I like should the name, be. Milk Arena Net. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm getting a milk emote and I'm just renaming it to that. Okay, just yeah, keep yeah. talking while I'm doing yeah, A milking okay. emote, like a cow. Yeah, yeah like a cow, yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, <laughs> when I hear fun facts, like, I, I looked at the game files, like the actual like, game, um, and half of the game is UI code. Like half of the entire game we're running <laughs> is UI code. It's like, it's not even that much to port. Like, I mean, m maybe there's a bit more but, like, on the back end, but the back end you can keep. It's just like the all you see in the game, like you have to port. And right. yeah, like half of the game is UI, then you have like 10, 20%, which are like um, basic tools of like how maths work and whatnot. Um, and I think Unreal Engine is capable of like uh, helping out there. So like the core, like they actually 30% like, has to be ported from whatever engine they're using to Unreal Engine. So it's not that much. It's not that massive uh, of an undertaking. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they can sure. do it in tandem because if you have a... a a feature light expansion, um, like Soto, they have all the developers at their disposal because the the people who are making the uh, the features are well. Uh, also, a big uh, quick distinction here. Um, I mean, like actual programmers here. So, like the programmers aren't doing anything for Soto. There wasn't that much to do, so they can unfuck the game and port it over. Um, because the people who were working on Soto are the designers and whatnot. 
and you don't need them if you just port a game. So like, yeah. it's very well possible if we have feature um, um, like expansions that are like, very low on features that we that they're doing that in the background. So you're saying like um, almost like because the expansions are very like essentially you have like half of the team doing one thing, which is like would be like porting it or untangling the code, whichever. Um, mm -hmm. And the other half is doing the expansion, which is indeed the uh, you know because they just need the designers and those in that work also is already done, so like it just can move up, uh, move over very easily. Is that what you're kind of trying to say? Yeah, because I basically I mentioned this like um, if you if you remake let's say if you make Guild Wars three, you need story writers, you need designers, you need programmers, yeah, like yeah. a lot of them. You can um, use, but if you yeah, yeah, if, right. if you just remake the game. Oh, like port it. You just need programmers. Yeah, you, you don't need job designers because done. the game is already designed. Yeah, um, that's and true. the story. So, like, um, if so you it... have a feature like expansion, they don't need programmers because the features are already there. Like, or like, it's not a lot of features. Like, for example, what did um, Soto add? It didn't add anything major apart from rifts, which we already kind of had. So it was still very feature like um, in general. So like, all those programmers can be working on, let's say, Guild Wars 2.5. And port the game while all the designers actually make the content for the game, the rifts and the events and like the story and whatnot. Um, and yeah, that's it's also a... like yet another thing. Yeah, it's almost like um, it's almost like developers can only do one thing, right? So like, well, I'm just gonna do the pen. But it's like almost like developers can re can only do one thing, and then the designers can do only the one thing. And all, and for the expansions, the designers are mostly um doing. The expansion, and then the developers can have the time to do do the uh, the, the other part, which in in this case would be or making the you know move the game to somewhere else, or actually making the game um, you know the code unfucky, like just completely fuck uh, completely fix it, right? Um, which would be yeah, the, also, the right like, answer, right? Yeah, and also to counter what Dumas is saying, yeah, but we know that they're not doing that. Um, we know for a fact that they're not doing that because we see on LinkedIn like and our, all the other sources that they aren't letting go anyone. Um, they won't even hiring and like also hiring more programmers, not letting go of them. Um, and and also yeah, uh, it, yeah. One one thing um, that I saw in chat is like uh, Gilbert has like one K viewers, is not like relevant or whatever. Well, look, just because you have bad viewers on Twitch doesn't really mean the game is not doing well. Warframe is doing very well and has done it for years, and they never had good viewership. They have always had the same viewership that Gilbert Two has, and Warframe looks great. Uh, it's a very healthy game, uh, and sure they're moving to another one. Uh, but the fuck DE like the uh, digital extremes is there's a good company that just been doing that game for a long time, and they're not gonna they're gonna stop. They might go to another one, but they already announced that anyways. So it's like no, I I don't think that's a good argument, right? At the end of the day, if they may if the game is working is making money, that's good enough, right? Um, that's good enough. Yeah, it's, it's how worth many years does Final Fantasy have? Um, well, Final Fantasy has a lot, uh, I think. Does it? Yeah, it has. Uh, Fantasy XIV. It has, they have a lot of. They have a lot of players. I think uh, a lot of Twitch uh, viewers. Uh, well, let me see. Six point two k. k. Yeah, that actually checks out pretty pretty well because it, they earn six times more money. Like, so, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> um, That's yeah. Funny. Like, I, I did the maths on this basically, like how much uh, Arena has earned and how much uh, like Final Fantasy has earned, and yeah, it's like six times. Um. So it, it it makes sense, right? Um, but it, for example, ESO also has one point three k views on on uh, Twitch. So yeah, it, it's fine. Like it, it just means that there isn't really a Twitch culture, but the game is doing completely fine. Um, I what I also did was extrapolate how many players are playing Guild Wars two at any given time, um, and based on like Steam numbers and like some other data sets, um, basically. We have a concurrent play account like, on average of like twenty thousand, which is pretty comparable with other MMOs. Um, so, I, no, Guild Wars Two is still not dead. But <laughs> man, why are the people even arguing this? If Guild Wars Two was dead, they would they would just do maintenance mode. Um, yeah. They wouldn't even yeah. do another expansion. They'd be like, hmm, "Fuck, it's not viable anymore." That's like, that's let's kind just of let it take go. the money on fucking Sony and do the fucking Horizon Row and nothing else. Like, why would they waste time doing another expansion here? They waste money. Uh, still, that I don't know. Like, look, I don't think you have put in any, you know, actual argument that Game Wars Two is dead. Um, uh, so I mean, you know, good luck, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like overall we seem to, you know, uh, I think over everything. So I think the conclusion is, I think the biggest conclusion is like 
Guild Wars 2 seems to be doing well. They seem they seem to not want the company to die, uh, and they want to. Uh, and even though they are probably most likely doing Horizon well, even then they're obvious. They they said in the post that they want to do more projects as well. Um, so it is probably likely that I guess or they do another Guild Wars IP game, which probably would be another MMO like Guild Wars 3, I guess, or whatever. Or they are tr or gonna try and fix the game at the same time, right? Um, yeah. Although the other option is that they just take the money and run, and that just doesn't seem like a thing that they would do or that they are doing. Uh, I think that's the biggest conclusion here. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, probably later, I'll do like a list of all the pros and argue, uh, cons on every one of the points, uh, mm. post in the video, um, and I'll give uh, a little point, a little Excel sheet with the percentages of I think possibilities that this. Uh, Things have right, so you guys can make your own mind with your with the arguments and pros and cons we have, and of course, uh, in because I probably put it on YouTube. Um, if you want to, you know, put your own arguments for pros and cons on each of the ones, you can comment down below, and maybe I'll update it right and see if it's one of them. I think I'm actually worth po putting in, right? Yeah. And also, like what um, what Mr. Mirror is saying here, um, isn't it better now with Steam? Well, for existing player, it kind of sucks, but Steam players uh, aren't they? Um, Aren't they saved by the money exchange with Steam? Like, or am I wrong here? Is Arena not doing it? Um, yeah. And also, like, what um, what Sirox is saying, like, yeah, sometimes you, their luck runs out and you end up with IBS. Yeah, but you know why that happened? Because they were working on Guild Wars 3, for a fact. They were working on Guild Wars 3 and pulling away developers from Guild Wars 2. Now they're oh, not know. pulling away developers from Guild Wars 2, and they're cranking out expansions. So, like, they... They changed their business model a bit, and like they changed their strategy a bit. Um, but yeah. Um, um, well, I, I, yeah. If, if you comment on that, I don't know. I have any uh, idea on the whole. I have heard that uh, people say that um, Enid has um, what's the word? Uh, they don't pay their developers well, but I don't know anything about that. I can't really tell because I really don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't work in the business. I don't have any uh, input on that. But. Uh, I don't mm. know if you have know anything about that Delta. Um, I, I mean, like I know for a fact that Arena isn't like the best paying company in the industry, um, especially like, for where they're based, like Seattle, which is pretty expensive. Um, but I mean, if if it was really that bad, like, do we have? Why do we have people like Darkbringer, like Ben P, like, who is now gone, but we had them for years? Like, if it really is that bad, the the company wouldn't really exist anymore, like, would it now? Um, yeah, it's not like 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 something like Blizzard's like yeah, guys, we want to you know fucking get in there and um, and like you know pump the fucking the, the biggest company of them all and we sure we will not get paid that much because we're getting this uh, out of it, right? It's not like it's not like any is like the biggest company ever. It's not doing bad, of course. And you could argue that maybe they should pay better. Um, I actually, I, I as I said, I don't work in the industry. I can't really tell uh, say anything about this kind of things because I'm really not informed. Uh, but. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. You, you go to Arena uh, to train uh, to move to real companies? Yeah, it, it, in a way, it's like a stepping stone. Um, but it also, like, here's the thing. Well, then, you see how good a company is, um, at, at least in development. I don't know like, about other like, areas of expertise. Um, but in development, you see how good a company is if the um, demographic of the employees is very varied. Like you have employees who are old and like who's who've been there for like twenty years, and you have young employees and like a lot of in between. And Arena has that. They don't have only old and they don't have only young. Like um, so, the company can't be all that bad. Like sure, it might be a bit of a stepping stone. Um, or you but, can but use it as because... a you can use it as a uh, as a as a starting point, right? But that doesn't mean that everyone's yeah. gonna do that. Like there's been people that been there for a while, and honestly, I mean, yeah, yeah I mean that's kind of what you do if you don't care that much about the company. If you don't care about it, you just yeah, exactly. move on, right? Yeah. And and also, exactly. hey, may, maybe this is one of the reasons why they don't pay that much because people use it as a comp as a thing like that, right? Maybe you get paid more if you actually stay, or maybe they, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe because uh, you don't pay that much, people leave, right? It, it, there's so many things. Like how would we even like? We don't work there. Like, there's no shot we can actually make an assessment of what actually happens there. I, I don't know. Uh, and especially if I, well, personally, I don't work in that industry. So how the fuck would I know? Right? Yeah, um, but you see a lot of people who worked at ArenaNet go like, oh yeah, like, um, I moved on to Blizzard or whatever because it's my favorite game company. 
It's like it's not because people hate Arena and so bad, but because they had other like dreams and ambitions. I, gu um, I, I guess you never. Like, to be fair though, I I, okay. I guess I don't think I don't think anyone would be like I don't think it's a good idea for any employee to be like, yeah, this company sucked. Because uh, <laughs> uh, then the other ones are gonna be like, well, I don't want this fucker in my fucking company. I don't want them to say that I suck next time, right? Um, but yeah. But it, it, it's Araxa because you said they're not good at making choices. Um, um, uh, that was four years ago, and they've making they've been making very very good choices since then. Um, otherwise, the game would have grown as it has in the past four years. Um, and, and you can argue that those those choices are not good for you, which is fair. But at the end of the day, if they make more money with those choices, I mean, they are better choices overall, right? Um, you can say at least you can say maybe it's not your choices you would have made, but at least they're good. In a sense, right? Yeah. For example, um, if you if you really want to break it down, the arena four years ago that made those bad choices, um, the entire staff was completely different. We it was still Mike Z actually like, being the game director. He's been gone for four years. We have Grouch now for two. We had like I, I don't we had we didn't have a game director I think for two years or something like someone very quiet. Um, uh, but the entire like, executive part of the company has changed since then, um, so you, you can't really compare it. You, you can, you can certainly be cynical about it, but saying, "Oh yeah, like Arena has made bad choices in the past," is yeah. Like, Colin Johansson's the studio director now, and he led Heart of Thorns, and I think he kind of knows what he's doing. Um, and other at people, le at least, I'd like to believe that. And yeah. a lot of people, I guess, here would lo do like Heart of Thorns, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Something bothering you? All right, well... Wait, oh, oh. You want, you what's, want to what's respond? What's the saying here? Okay, um, you wanna... Yeah, you can respond. Um... They have the same dev staying there for, for, for long. You said you said P and Solo left. Um, the PVA dev, I forget his name, left, and a lot of other devs. And Solo openly said they left because they were offering less money than others. Yeah, but, um, sure, um... Of course, like you have people like leaving because like they offer less money, but I, I actually to be fair, wh what point are you even arguing that people leave the company? Um, it, that's with any game company. It, track Blizzard employees and people will leave all the time. Like someone will come, like oh yeah, like, you're a good dev. I want you. I'm paying you twice as much. Um, but the people who are dedicated and the people who care, they stay with the with the company. And it's not just, um, and, and I, I'd rather have those devs who actually care about the game than devs who are just in for the money. Um, well, well, I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Is CMC, Is leashed? CMC leashed? An, an accurate description of his current job. job. <laughs> I mean, his current job of CMC? Is, like, I actually don't know. Like, I don't know what CMC is up to these days. Trying to fix the game, the balance. Well, we'll see what happens next time. Is uh, you think that's a good uh, time to end it? Uh, is there anything else you want to say, uh, to, you know, about the whole thing? Your conclusions on it? You think? I'm right. The cope You're is right? real. You're right. The cope is real. Okay. Look, I, I think the uh, my opinion, I guess you would say, is like I think the most rational decision would be to um, or make Guild Wars 2.5 like essentially a remake of the game in another engine or uh, to unco like unfox the code in the game right to you know use it to make the game better and of course uh, make it easier for them to do and make more content with less effort right um, that's probably the most likely slash uh, most um, intelligent idea in my opinion considering all that we have um discussed today uh then the second one would just to be fucking yeah only the other one would just to abandon Guild Wars 2 and fucking <laughs> and just go for the horizon and well, fuck it i might as well uh and that's la the last one would be like Guild Wars 3 uh because honestly Guild Wars 3 is just like it, why like this is why would you just make the game like the game is huge like why don't you just update this game enough that it can run for fucking how many more years you want it to run i just don't see it uh, unless they make something like Unless they make a lot of the progress go to Guild Wars 3, like every legendary you got, um, you, it goes for Guild Wars 3. Um, I don't, I don't see it, right? Um, maybe in every infusion and the, um, every legendary, uh, but I just don't see it. Otherwise, um, I think it's what the other options are way too more likely, and I don't see why they would want to kill their IP. So in my opinion, the one that is very, very much the most likely is the uh, Guild Wars 2.5 thing, like or uh, essentially invest more in Guild Wars 2 by moving into another. 
throw another engine or to just you know unfuck the code and uh, take the time, right? But you know what? In a month, when they release the quarter three earning reports, know. we should do another one. Yeah, and then and then it's like. You and the chat like, yelling at me for like three hours, like, oh, Guild Wars 2 is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's going to yeah, be we'll fun. See, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to have to see that. Yeah, that's going to be very, very interesting for sure. Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, we're going to have to see. Um, and if they're doing it now, now, they never uh, reached a fraction of their potential. Yeah, but look, sure. But you shouldn't let your potential uh, bring you down. Like, at the end of the day, What's it saying? Um, perfect is the enemy of good. There's a reason why. It's because if you focus on what it could be, you're not going to make a good thing anyways. Just make what you best you can. And sure, the game could have been the new WoW, and it could have been the most played MMO ever, and it could be in this timeline where everything could turn out uh, good. But I don't know, it didn't, and there's no point in focusing on that. Uh, that time has passed. The game is different. Uh, everything is different. That was 10 years ago. Don't think about that. Think about starting now what the best possibility from here on out for the game is and whether that is possible. That's the only thing uh, you should be thinking about. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're good. Uh, this, yeah, I think I think it's a good end way to end again. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to the fucking Twitch channel or YouTube and we'll probably make another one when the uh, <laughs> when we know how much money Soto made, okay? So Oh man, go. like I, I'm I'm gonna like fucking debate everyone, even if I'm yeah. wrong and like Soto was shit and they <laughs> Yeah, fuck him. I mean look, I will I'll, I'll I'll try and be the uh, the antagonist. I'll try to be the doomer next time. I'll, I I think I did a good job as a meteor between Chad being the doomer and yeah. you being the cope master. Uh, I think next I'll do time that next it's time. me versus the chat. Yeah, and I'll be the yeah exactly, and I'll just be the um, the moderator, right? For sure. Yeah, when is raid core happening, bro? What the fuck? When is oh, that raid core is happening like, at oh, some shit. point. Yeah. Hey, look, wh why would I um why would I work on that? Actually, like, I mean, I can't kind of kind of say uh, cannot say that because like it's not out yet. But like I'm, I spent so much time on raid core. Why would I um if yeah. I'm not hopeful of reading it? Sunk I am very very hopeful of reading it. Sunk costs fast, you guys. Confirmed right here on stream, guys. The only reason why uh why Delta believes in in Aina is because otherwise Delta core was not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Raid core is dead. No, <laughs> Nike is gonna get exclusive beta access. <laughs> oh shit, a beta! Uh, where's raid core? It's like it's like Raider IO in well, more or less, right? D Dumont knows what raid core is. He's messing with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. He didn't put cap at the end. How the fuck yeah. would I know? Jesus. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna die to this fucking better now. It's good. Um. Okay. So what? Do you know, we do the now, next right? next uh, cope cast we do, I release raid core. Oh, really? Oh, it's one month away, bro. You have to be quick. Oh, shit. Yeah, you oh, have shit. to fucking finish it. At least beta, at least. Beta or bust, or we don't do it at I'm, all. I'm, I'm just gonna ghost you. There you go. Ghost me? Infinite time. Okay. Well, look, I uh, I could stream more, but to be honest, I need to make some videos. So I'm just gonna end it, and uh, it's a good way to end it, and I'll just, I don't know, fuck. I'll raid Teapot or whatever, or Lara, or fucking, yeah. I don't fucking know, dude. Uh, I'll raid someone. Uh, yeah, let's raid Lara because I raided Tebow too much. Uh, it was nice. Uh, I'll make this. I'll put this onto YouTube, you guys, if you missed it or whatever. Uh, Lara Nitty. Okay, it was very fun. Raid Van. Who the fuck is Van? Wait, Van who? Who? Who's Van? The Darkholm. The who? Van Darkholm. I know that is. Uh, wait, how do you not know Van Darkholm? <laughs> I don't know. Is there, do you play Guild Wars 2? <laughs> Dark home. Oh, is that the guy like, from like Gachi or some shit? Yes. Oh, is that guy? Okay, yeah, I know him. Okay, look, I look, I don't, I know his face. Okay, I've seen him uh, do things. Okay. <laughs> is true. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him perform. Oh shit, I fucked up. Okay, well, look, you, you've seen him thank perform. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him perform. Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you, Delta, for coming out and uh, for coming in. Yeah. It was very, very nice. It was Thanks very for fun. having me. Yeah, of course, it was very fun. It was very cool. I really wanted to talk about this. Uh, for a long time and having it you on stream when you have you can respond to chat is actually very useful so i will make an excel sheet uh, about this and i'll you know we'll make it you know we'll make it good we'll make it a uh, very very perfect okay so everyone knows every pro and con argument for each one okay so thank you guys for watching love you all subscribe channel follow i'll stream tonight for raid speedruns may i'll do some new world i don't know whatever